I'm so nervous to film this video. I'm like almost shaking. It's been almost, si oh my God, I'm like legit almost shaking. I need to calm down. <laughs> Okay, hi guys. It's been a minute, and by a minute, I mean like almost six months. Yikes. Um, but it's December 1st, officially. I have been sitting by my desk, just editing and working on YouTube stuff. And I was on the phone with Haley earlier, and I just randomly decided, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do Vlogmas weird decision considering the fact that i literally have not posted in almost six months and most of you probably forgot that i even existed but i digress so i'm sitting here cookies christmas cookies i have hot chocolate i have all of the christmas things i'm editing for vlogmas right now actually um but i decided that instead of posting like a normal video i need to talk about my feelings in true taylor form because i know that i'm not going to be able to produce the content that i want to produce until i talk about my feelings and i have my little sappy emotional fest with you guys um so that's what we're gonna do i wrote down notes on my phone to keep me on track because I had a real like heart to heart with myself and I was trying to figure out like why I was laying in bed most of the day, why I wasn't posting on YouTube, why I didn't want to really post on Instagram or Snapchat or live stream or do anything that like I typically do in my day to day life. And it clicked in my head that the way that I was feeling on the inside projected on the outside and I'm sure some of you can remember a couple months back on snapchat especially I would go on these rants where I was like oh my god I need a nose job oh my god I need like the stuff done on my chin like my cheeks I need cheek filler all that I was trying to change my appearance and that is because I pretty much was having like an identity crisis internally and it ended up reflecting on the outside because there is a situation within my family um, that I have never addressed publicly and that even in my personal life only about a handful of people know including family members and i don't know and i have been struggling with whether or not to go into detail about these things because it's from my childhood um but it is something and these events are things that have always affected me they've affected me to this day they affect the way I communicate with people, they affect how I feel about myself, how I feel about others, my trust in others. Um, so it is a big part of what makes me me. But I have been struggling with whether or not to talk about it. But I think just acknowledging this issue without going into detail may be enough for me to feel comfortable being on camera again because the reason I was having an identity crisis I figured out is because I felt pretty much like a fraud um which sounds kind of weird because you guys don't know the full picture but I felt like I was a phony because I come on here not all not necessarily high and mighty but I come on here and I'm like you know I'm super honest I'm very authentic like don't hold anything back but the truth is there's this entire part of my life and who I am and where I come from that I have never publicly addressed and it kind of just started to weigh on me and really caused me to 
crumble from within. And like I said, I don't know if I'm ever going to publicly talk about it in detail. I don't even go to therapy for it anymore, like, um, because I'm still very uncomfortable talking about it. Except with those few people that I mentioned before that know about the situation and even then I've never revealed everything. Um, so that was a lot, that was a lot of weight off of my shoulder. Um, and I'm not saying this to get pity, I'm not saying this to cause drama, I'm not saying this to get a reaction from a certain person, I'm saying this for me and I'm putting this out there for me and if anyone has a problem with that that's on them quite honestly because I just sitting here at what <laughs> three in the morning feel so much better I don't feel completely healed but I feel so much better knowing that I'm at least opening the door for the discussion you know so that was a lot but in all seriousness I have made a commitment to myself I have made a commitment to you guys officially and I have made a commitment to my best friend that I'm going to participate in vlogmas I feel like it's going to help me get out of bed I was talking about this earlier I feel like it is going to help me get out of bed and participate in life because number one I've been sick for about three days um I've been very self-conscious about my skin if you follow me on snapchat and instagram and you follow my stories and all that you know I had a really bad chemical burn from my self tanner that's why I'm pale right now um and I'm letting my skin breathe for a little bit but it's also making me like self-conscious to like go out in public which is ridiculous but I'm just being honest here so I feel like making myself do vlogmas it's going to spark creativity again hopefully um it's going to get me more comfortable being on camera again it's going to get me out of bed uh so it'll be good it'll be good and i have to remember that I'm just thinking out loud now, but I have to remember that number one, I haven't posted a video in six months. I'm not expecting my views to be the way that they were. Um, I'm anticipating little views and I'm okay with it. I'm verbally acknowledging that I'm okay with it because this isn't about the views. This is about healing myself in the only way I know how which is using my YouTube channel as my therapy. So if you want to go on this journey with me, I'm probably going to be having like these emotional talks. I'm going to try to do some ASMR. I'm not making any promises on specific content right now just because I know that I am not okay. I am not in a state where I'm a danger to myself or others, but I know that something is off. And something has been off for a very long time so this is more or less me trying to just throw myself back into my normalcy in hopes that it helps and if you guys are cool with that you're more than welcome to continue watching if you're not I don't know so I don't really know how to end these anymore but um that's all for now day two here we come